Hi everyone, this is Jessica from Blue Peaches Furniture and today I wanted to do a uh, live video on the new artist paintbrushes that Country Chic uh, launched um, and so I wanted to, I'll paint basically the other side of this trunk that I uh, did this my attempt at a floral design um, and I'll just go over some of the brushes and why they're so cool. Now. Um, before I get started, uh, I just want to let you guys and people start um, joining. I just want to let everybody know that uh, if you uh, if you uh, want to purchase anything afterwards, uh, use the code Blue Peaches Ten. That's Blue Peaches Ten to get ten percent off your order. Um, and during this video, there's going to be um, a prize for one lucky winner at the end. Um, and that will be three uh, three jars of four ounce paint and a set of these artist paintbrushes. So make sure to leave a comment, join in, um, let me know what you'd like to use the artist paintbrushes for and what you're looking to paint. Um, and for this video, I'd love it to be as interactive as possible. So let me know you're watching, say hi, leave a comment, let me know where you're watching from, ask questions. Uh, make conversation and I'm here videoing me is my um, my boyfriend Matt so can you turn the camera around and say hi to everyone oh. hello world hi. okay and so Matt will be reading the comments out to me um, as they're coming in we got a couple of highs already from Kate Miller Oh, hi Kate from Little City Farmhouse. I'm so honored that you're watching. <laughs> uh, Julie Bissell. Oh, hi Julie. The one and only Janet Z. Janet Z. Are you going <laughs> to... How's it going, Janet? Um, okay, so um, without... Uh, we'll get started. Uh, so basically I'll just go over the new paintbrushes and what they uh, have in the set. So there's five of them. And there's the uh, three quarter angular and a uh, half angular. And these are just have domed edges and are great for coverage and they're pretty uh, versatile. And then there's a flat brush, a number eight flat brush. And these are great for spreading, spreading paint smoothly and evenly over a surface. And then there's the uh, four and the six angular brushes. And these are great for details and small edges and thin lines. So I'll be painting the other side of this box. So I'm just going to get up and uh, flip it around because this side hasn't been painted. Okay, where's everybody watching from? Oh, Jillian Reynolds is watching. Oh, hi Jillian. The fam. Okay, so I just, I like to just go and play around with things. So I haven't even drawn or stenciled anything on. I'm just gonna go for it and have fun. Um, so I have, I'm using for the leaves and stuff, I'm gonna use Hollow Hill. And I'm going hello, to- Hello Heather, hello Lilo. Hi Heather, hi Lilo, where are you guys watching from? There we go. Hello, Nadia. Cool, so I will do the majority of the flowers in the limited edition of color um, Enchanted, which is my favorite pink color for the flowers. Um, and over top I uh, put Sunday tea and I did put a coat of the crackle medium because I want to see if the flowers will crackle a bit but I'm just gonna get started now by no means guys am I um, an artist or know what I'm doing when it comes to painting but when the brushes came in um, I was just so excited to try them and usually I'll wet the brush a bit just uh, and then put a little bit of paint on it and then I'm just gonna go. So yeah, so I've never had any uh, f formal training in um, art or no, or have never even really painted anything before I got these brushes, but I wanted to try them. So I decided to paint flowers and it was so much fun um, that I just, can you guys see okay? Yeah. Yeah. Are there more comments? That looks pink. We got Jillian's watching from Ottawa. Hi. Janet is still a Spencer Villian. Are, um, are you gonna ask Janet if she's a good Janet or a bad Janet? Oh yes. Janet, are you a good Janet or a bad Janet? Do you guys watch uh, The Good Place? Yeah, if you watch the show The Good Place, you'll know what that means. It's uh, such a funny 
funny show. And then we got uh, Heather near Winnipeg. Wow. Oh, cool. And Lilu near or in Manitoba. And what are you guys looking to paint? What do you want to try painting? So I'm using the big angular brush just to put a thin coat of the pink all over at the moment. Um, just because I want the majority of the flower to be that. And then I'll start having fun with other stuff. And the beauty of painting is that um, you can make mistakes and just paint over it and have fun with it and paint whatever you want. Um, and yeah, so I have my thin, thin coat. And then I'm going to, uh, look, I bought this tape there, this mixing thing to impress you guys, to seem like a real artist, but I don't know if I'll actually use it. Looks like it came straight from the Dollarama paint department. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> World renowned Dollarama paint department. Yeah. So, and then I just take. Oh, Michelle Lefebvre finally figured out how to use Facebook live. Oh. And he's pretty excited about it. I think it's a woman. Michelle. Michelle. Okay. Oh. She's pretty excited about it. Sorry about that. Uh, I've got someone watching from Nova Scotia. Oh, cool. What's the weather like over there now? Windy last week. I know that. Yeah. Michelle's in Cornwall watching. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, so I'm just blending some of the red in, or the pink. Sorry, this is a rad, is it rad? Moonflower, which was the summer limited edition. Um, and then, see, and I was just using the two angular brushes, and then I'm going to take some black. Okay, we got someone who painted a uh, child's deacon's bench. No. Oh, sorry. She painted a child's deacon's bench, and she wants to add something. It's missing something. Oh, so are you going to try the artist brushes? How many people who are watching have tried the artist brushes? And uh, Sherry, watching from New Hamburg, Ontario, have a paint have a cabinet she just picked up that's waiting for a transformation. Oh wow, Robert's Arm, Newfoundland. So he's, Sherry's watching from Robert's Arm, Newfoundland. Oh, cool. Yeah, how are you guys liking this darkness? That's it's already dark out. That. Uh, so now I'm sorry. Now I'm using the uh, angular brush with the black just to. I'm gonna get some highlight some of the details. And then I'll blend this all in later. Oh, you can see some of the crackling starting with the crackle medium. Anyways, you can see that this is pretty easy and straightforward. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never painted a piece up uh, until two days ago, or sorry, a week ago, or no, a few weeks ago. I'm lying. Um, yeah. Oh, Kate's used those brushes before. She just loves the artist brushes. Great for doing tiny touch-ups. Yeah, that's the other thing. If you don't want to paint on them, they're so great for when you're actually painting furniture um, to, uh, to just get the little nooks and crannies and the details and things like that. Um, and they're just such good quality and they're so easy to use and work with. We got Doris Kohler who says she loves the colors, but she's never tried this brand of paint. Oh, Country Chic is amazing paint. Um, it's chemical free, um, so there's no smell, no bad flavors, nothing um, with that. It's Canadian made, um, and it's really high quality and just really easy to, uh, to use. Oh, we got a comment from uh, Dizzle Darms. Oh. <laughs> who says, hi Jessica, love your flowers. <laughs> That's so great, there's the whole family watching. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so you just have fun with it. Mix in the colors. You can use some water for more blending. Okay. What, uh... What do you got going? You got one flower over there and then one yeah. flower in the top right corner as well? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. If anybody has any questions, it's basically I'm just painting flowers on the dresser. Um, 
I'm using the angular brush right now for the pink. I'm just doing light coats. Uh, is there special care needed when using these brushes or just water? Just water. Um, but you also, uh, if you're to take care of them, every so often it's really good to use the, um, I love the brush soap that Country Chic has. It smells like, uh, kind of like lemons. I don't know how to explain it. And it's really fresh and clean. And it, it, if you forget to wash your brushes or anything, leave them overnight. Um, it helps uh, cure, fix it. So really good quality. Uh, Jillian wants to know if those are peonies. <laughs> I don't know. Do they look like peonies? I'm not a flower expert. Now, Jess, do you map out ahead of time where the flowers are going or like draw anything on there before? No. So you just look at it, then go? Yeah. Would you recommend perhaps mapping it out ahead of time? <laughs> no, no. Just... Are you asking? This is my personal You're question. asking yes, your yes. personal question? I can't type any questions in. So. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, that would make sense, right? Sometimes I could. I don't know. I guess that makes sense too. I'm sure as I get more experienced, I'll be a little bit more. Oh, Country Chic has a question here. Oh. Which brush do you use for each section of flower? For example, the stem. The okay, highlights. so right now I'm using my two big ones to for the coverage was the big angular. Now I'm using the smaller angular. The stem I used the small angle brush and then some of the details I'm just using for small more like for these lines here I'll show you how with the small. Oh, I gotta watch your head here so I can see. Oh I'm sorry. So what brush is that? This is the small angular. Okay. What do you guys think? <laughs> what would you guys paint on this trunk? Oh, and then after, and um, so for the top, I'm gonna put some green just to add some decor at the bottom. When it dries, I'm gonna sand this down to give it a really vintage look, and that way it hides some of the errors too. So I'm just doing strokes. I'm trying to keep the consistency with the strokes going that way, but sometimes it's fun to do a random different stroke. And you should be washing your brushes in between. So just put, put like a little bit of water. Put some blue at the top for the sky. Oh, Heather says, great job for not being an artist. Mine would not look anywhere near that. Oh, no, I'm sure it would. I'm sure, like, um, if I can do this, anybody can do this. That's why I just wanted to do the live video to show how easy and how fun it is and how relaxing it is. And then you kind of created this cool... It looks like blue sky and then green fields down below. Yeah, so I'm just going to wet it using my angular brush still. Um, Nadia wants to know if that's a set that you were using. Yeah, so the set, I'll just go over to those who just started watching or missed the intro. The set comes with five brushes, so two angulars, which are these and these. Uh, it comes with one flat brush, which is great for long, smooth surfaces and a little bit more detail. And then two angular brushes, which are these little tiny, and they have the angles on them. Um, and those are great for small, small details, so. Okay. Let's see how. Jillian would like to use these brushes on her mailbox, which needs a nice renewed look. Uh, Janet <laughs> wants to use for detail work on furniture. I can definitely see that being a great use for these guys. Kate says it looks beautiful. Aw, oh, thanks, Kate. That and means... Doris would like to use these brushes to enhance her pieces. Yeah, Jess, do you ever use these on, like, the big pieces that you do? Yeah, I do. So for, I'll use the angular, um, 
on the when you open drawers and need to put the line down it I'll usually use the thin ones and usually on the detailed parts of legs and stuff I'll get in there with these little brushes and then with uh, angles um, or details I'll use the smaller ones for just little to get into nooks and crannies oh Lisa said she would stencil x mass signs Christmas already jeez that's a great idea. Actually, that's a good workshop to come up. For stenciling? Yeah, do a stencil workshop class. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is starting to take shape here, eh? Looks like flower, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Use your imagination. <laughs> Looks terrific. <laughs> 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 I don't think it looks like a flower. It does, it does. Um, Nancy would like to try it on top of my coffee table. Oh, what would you paint on top of the coffee table? Uh, and Julian wants to know what is the green color called or is it blue? I think there's Oh, both, sorry, there's yeah. So this one, the green here is Sage Advice. Uh, the dark green there is Hollow Hill really beautiful dark green. Uh, the blue for the blue sky is called Elegance, Enchanted, Moonflower, and then Licorice for the, the black is Licorice. Do you guys think I should add any other colors? Oh, maybe I'll add some dream catcher. Another limited edition color. Oh, we got a nice comment from uh, Sharon. So this box is stunning and it's not even done yet. I would love to try this technique with these brushes. Um, and just a reminder for anyone wanting to try these that uh, if you use the code BLUEPEACHES10, you get 10% off coupon. Um, <laughs> Matt's making silly faces to throw me off my game right now. But if you use the code BLUEPEACHES10, you get 10% off your orders. So stock up on stuff. Try the artist brushes. Um, and if you leave a comment, you'll be entered in your chance to win three jars of paint, uh, three four ounce jars of all-in-one paint, and a set of these paint brushes. Uh, so leave a comment, tell me where you're from. Um, tell me what you would want to do with these. Vicky's painting a buffet next. Would love to win the brushes. Oops. What color are you painting the buffet? And then Jillian loves the sage advice color. Is that what you're going to paint your mailbox with? It'll be a very sage mailbox. <laughs> are you going to write something on the mailbox? Probably mail. Anyways, so yeah. you can see, if you can zoom in a bit to like right there, you can see where some of the crackle medium starting to make it crackle and give it sort of that old vintage look. So when it dries, it will be really cool. And then I'm going to sand it down so that it will have the effect of sort of this, which um, gives it a really soft, subtle look with the blue and the flowers and just makes it really smooth. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much, does anybody have any questions? I think I'm going to play around with it a bit more, but I'm sort of happy with how it is, unless anybody thinks I should add something. Okay. Jessica, we have our contest winner. Ooh, okay. The winner tonight is Jillian Runnels. Oh, no way. Nice work, Jillian. Congratulations. So you get to pick your three colors. Um, I'm guessing one of them is going to be Sage Advice, and you, get your, um, and you get a thing of artistic brushes. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Again, um, I'd like to... Uh, thank you. Uh, I just want to say that painting with these brushes is super easy and mixed with this paint it can essentially make anyone an artist. Um, if I can come up with this in a few minutes 
anybody out there with any smidgen of talent can do it really, really easily. Um, and it's lots of fun, so I'd encourage you to try. I think Country Chic at one point will be showing some cool techniques that you can use with the different paintbrushes at some point. Um, and thank you for watching. So again, I'm Jessica from Blue Peaches Furniture. And if you want to place an order, uh, it's Blue Peaches 10. Uh, use that code at checkout and get 10% off. Thank you.